Hey, it's Tom Sinclair with another tutorial from that VidBlaster guy. This time we're talking about how to send out two separate streams from VidBlaster at the same time. That can go to two different CDNs or two different places at the same CDN. Actually, on my weekly show, that VidBlaster guy, Wednesday afternoons at, at 3 o'clock Eastern, we, uh, we use Decast, D-A-C-A-S-T, Decast.com, and we'll send a flash stream at our full resolution, 864 by 480, 30 frames a second, uh, 1500 video bit rate, um, and we'll send that to their flash server, but then we also send an HTML5 stream, which is a different process that they have, uh, a lower resolution stream, about uh, 320 by 180 um, at maybe 350 bit rate, um, so that folks can see that on their iOS and portable devices and it doesn't eat up all their, their bandwidth, you know, their, their data. So let's, um, let's show how to do that. Uh, first of all, we want to, um, we're, we're using VidBlaster version 3.26 and you have to use the Pro Edition or higher in order for this to work. It won't work in the Home Edition and I'll tell you why in just a second. But let's start off by adding a module and we're going to add a streamer module, but we're going to use the beta streamer that's in 3.26. So to get access to the beta functions, we hold down the control key and the shift key on the keyboard and then click modules, swing over to add, and we have streamer 3, you notice where it says beta out next to it, streamer 3 in beta available. So we'll pick that up and we'll pull that right over here. And then we also want to add an output module. And the output module is why you can't do it in the home edition because the home edition doesn't have an output module. So we'll put the output module right over there. Um, first we'll set up the streamer because it's a little trickier to set up. It's really not tricky, it's really pretty simple. Um, so we're going to start with the source. That's going to be program, which is this big screen right here. The stream type is going to, well, we're going to go to decast. That's our CDN. We'll do decast. You notice there were some other choices there. Uh, the video, let's see, settings are going to be a login, and that's going to be a username. And I'm just going to, if you don't mind, I'm just going to pull that out of, this, out of the screen here so I can put that in. And if I could spell, I would be dangerous. There we go. And it'll ask for a password, and we'll pull that out in just a second also. And if we go back to the streamer, now that we've done stream settings, we've given it our login information, we can ask it to get a list of all our channels. So VidBlaster's going out, it's talking to DeCast. It came back, it said list refreshed, three channels found, okay? Well, let's go back here. We want to go stream settings, channel, and we see we've got three different channels. That VidBlaster guy with iOS, and I'll tell you about that one in just a second. That VidBlaster guy, and then one that I use for soccer in the springtime. So we're going to go with that VidBlaster guy because that's our main channel on DeCast. So we'll pick that up, and then we'll select our video resolution. In this case, we're going to use the resolution that we're that, that is our standard resolution in VidBlaster today, 864 by 480. We don't have to select it. We can if we want to. The bit rate we're going to use is 1500, and I know that that's sort of optimized for this particular resolution. Um, and then we're going to select the video compression. In this case, we're going to use low compression. We're not going to do a whole lot of compression. Whoops, let me make sure I did select that because I could double click there. Yeah, there we go. Audio device is going to be the microphone, which is actually where my mixer is plugged in. And then the uh, audio codec, we're going to leave on MP3. Audio bit rate, we'll leave at 96. That's a good, good bit rate. And now our streamer is done. Um, and we can go ahead and start it. And pow, there I am. And you can see that I'm streaming and I've got audio with my stream. Now to set up the second one, we're going to use the output module. We'll set it to program as the source of the video. We will set VidBlaster VVD as the output. Now VidBlaster VVD means VidBlaster's virtual video device, and that is VidBlaster's now sending out, well, when I click on, 
there we go. Now it's sending out a video signal within my PC that other, other software uh, will see as a camera. So let's bring in uh, Flash Media Live Encoder. Flash Media Live Encoder 3.2 is needed for this. And we, you can see I'm already set up there uh, under here under Video Devices. I've established VidBlaster VVD as my choice. Um, I'm going to use the uh, format H.264, 30 frames a second. The input size is 864 by 480. That's what VidBlaster is sending to Flash Media Live Encoder. Flash Media Live Encoder is going to maintain the aspect ratio. We've got widescreen today, 16.9 aspect ratio. But it's going to re-encode it. And let's see, let's pick it 350. And then DeCast has got 320 by 178. Well, 178, uh, DeCast says 180, but that's close enough. Um, so that's what we've done on our video side. Here in the center on audio, we've selected the same audio, which is a microphone, MP3, mono, 41,000 hertz, and we'll select pretty much the lowest uh, bit rate we can. We're going to have our volume at 100% because we want to pass through all of the volume. We don't want to reduce the volume in any way. And then over here on the left side, in, excuse me, on the right side, on the streaming side, you can see I've already input uh, the information that I got from DeCast which was my, uh, let's see, what is De DeCast calls it a slightly different name. They call it a stream URL. Here in Flash Media Live Encoder, they call it the FMS URL. But that's my URL for that. And then the stream right here in, in uh, DeCast is called the stream name. And so that's copied from there. And then um, there's another process. Let's see if we can do it here. Well, let's stop that and press connect. Yeah, and it'll bring up and it's going to ask me for a username and password. And again, I'm going to pull that. Can I pull that out of the screen? No, I can't. Um, well, I bet I can copy it, though. Let's do that. I'm going to go over to the DeCast page. And I'm just going to copy it out. I log in. You want to be careful. Sometimes if you do a cut and paste from DeCast, it'll put an extra space there. And then it won't work at all. And then we'll copy my password, which I think will just come up as a bunch of stars. Yeah, there we go. And so we're OK there. We're all connected. It's connected with the cast. We haven't started streaming yet. When we click the Start button, it will start streaming. And so now you can see the little teeny window right there. That's, it's actually a little bigger than that. Uh, we'll set it for 100%. And that's what it would be on your, on your phone or your iPad. You can make it larger if you want to. So let's pull that one out of the way. And now we can see that we've got one streamer here that's streaming a full resolution. 864 by 480 is full resolution for us today. A full resolution stream to DeCast and then using the output module together with Flash Media Live Encoder we're streaming a lower resolution stream um, to DeCast. So, and, and what is the uh, CPU usage right here? We've got an i7, a 2600K, slightly overclocked. CPU usage is going somewhere between 40 and 50 percent, and it would probably be more than that if we were recording too. So anyway, that is how to stream to two, essentially two different CDNs, or the same CDN for two different reasons. I'm Tom Sinclair, that BitBlaster guy. It's been a great uh, having, well, I guess I really haven't had you with me today. Anyway, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Thanks for watching. Tune in live uh, on Wednesdays at uh, 3 o'clock Eastern for our regular show. Love to have you there. And we'll see you next.